All right, you guys, doing a group video this week just to kind of show you these guys are all pretty much at the same spot in training. So we've got May May, Murdoch, and Moose. We've got all the M's. So um, this week's video is just about the place command. Same thing as we do with everything else. Place is an implied stay, meaning I tell them the word place. They know that that means to get up on this bed and they have to stay there until they're told otherwise. So they get to do, this is one of my dogs, she's serving as a little bit of a distraction. Um, they get to do whatever they want on the bed. Sit, stand, lay down, walk around, as long as all four feet are on the bed at all times. Murdoch, place good boy. Moose, place, good. Uh -uh, place, good boy. So once those paws come off, like if they're laying down and the paws hang off the edge, that's 100% okay. Because their intent is to stay on the bed. But as soon as they start walking off because they're interested in the doorbell or another dog got off or whatever it is, that's when they're getting corrected. And right now I'm using a lot of body pressure as well as leash pressure if they need it. You can see all of them have leashes on. Um, and then I've got all of their e-collar remotes. So um, it's just a matter of e-collar, body pressure. Nope, Murdoch place. Good boy, I know. You wanna be friends with everybody. You just wanna play. And then body pressure for now. We will be able to take away that body pressure and just really just use our e-collars. Um, but these guys are still a little bit new at the place command, especially under this, these types of distractions. Other dogs are right next to each other on beds. There's a dog kind of walking around, all that good stuff. But the place command is my favorite command of all time. I use it all the time. Moose place, moose place. Good boy, good job, I know. There's some toys in that bag, he's sniffing. <laughs> Um, I use it all the time when we're sitting down watching TV. Murdoch, place. Good boy. When we're cooking, when we're eating, when guests come over, whenever the doorbell rings, anything that I'm doing that I want dogs to be a part of but not getting into, they're on place. So this is a really awesome command. Um, you'll get to a point where you can send your dog from across the room. We're going to work on building what we call the three D's, distance, duration, and distractions. So distance, obviously how far away from them I can be and they still maintain it. Distractions, I'm gonna have, oh, May May Place. May May Place. Good girl. I will have even more dogs walking around. I'll call one of them off and make sure the other two stay. Um, anything like that, and then duration, how long they can be there in one single go. Good job. My goal is always at minimum an hour, if not longer. So I typically want them to stay there. Murdoch, place. Murdoch. Uh-uh, Moose. Murdoch, place. Come on. Good boy. I typically want a dog, moose place, to be able to stay on their place bed. Nope, place, moose, good. On their place bed for at least a full movie. Place, moose. And you can see this is a big distraction, having friends, uh-uh, moose, come here. On beds next to you, uh-uh, place, is a really big distraction. Come on, moose. And any of you that are Let's see, I don't actually don't think any of you have other dogs in the home. But if you have friends that have dogs or even kids or whatever, this is a reality. They're gonna keep breaking, they're gonna keep getting off. Murdoch, Murdoch, place. Good boy, good boy. They're gonna wanna get off, they're gonna wanna check things out. So it's just a matter of reminding them, working them through the things that they're struggling with. So. Everybody's doing really good. They're figuring it all out. Murdoch, he kind of fell off there, buddy. Place. Good. Good boy. No e-collar correction there just because he didn't intentionally get off. He was scratching, kind of fell off the edge. So I don't want to correct him for that, but I did want to get him back on the bed. So everyone's doing good.